Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talk video. So um, on today's video we are going to be making a review but this is going to be, um, I'm going to be reviewing or comparing these two different applications called TubeBuddy and VidIQ. And actually making this video guys, this is not a disclaimer video, this is just a discovery and my experience making use of the application. And um, I'm very quite well that I've used this application for over four years and I have been making content. So I am able to assess a lot of differences and I have spotted a lot of differences and I'm going to diagnose them properly with you guys um, while we go through the applications. So um, before we start that, I already have um, vidIQ installed and I think I have uninstalled TubeBuddy. So um, this is YouTube right now. This is my YouTube application no internet hold on let me connect all right guys so currently um since we only have vidIQ you can notice on this left hand area this is vidIQ when you scroll down you can see vidIQ on this particular area you can do a lot of things with vidIQ and also when we search let me say i search for um content creators so I just search for content creators. It should display vidIQ and there are several places where it displays vidIQ. Hold on. All right, guys. So this is um, the content creator I just searched right now. And this is, you can notice this section and you can notice on this top right hand area, on this top area. So the what is showing right here is actually the vidIQ information about the word I just searched. This is content creator. And if you notice on the videos, you can see there are some information there, but it cannot show every information. Okay, I, I just clicked by mistake. I will have to go back. So I'm not done explaining. That is really why I have to go. All right, guys. So um, if you notice on each video, you are going to see how many subscribers a person got. And the reason why this is on blue is because it's actually um, a vidIQ sponsored or a vidIQ extension improvement. And you can also see some other information. These are also uh, made el eligible by vidIQ features that we have. And this is also a vidIQ um, tool that is making it to display all of this. So um, let me leave that and uh, then go ahead and scroll down even more. You can notice when you scroll down even more, you can see more information right here. And you can notice there are even more information right there, but this is only available for upgraded user. So if you are making use of a prepaid um, account for vidIQ, you are going to get even more information than the one you are getting right now. So, um, and then after you've seen all of those, if you click on any particular video, or let's say you're watching on any video right now, you are also going to get some information. I'm showing you guys all these things so that you can actually get the difference between when you have only vidIQ and then when you have um, TubeBuddy. I have already made previous video guys where I actually explained how TubeBuddy works. So if you watch that previous video, you can notice that TubeBuddy also have all of this feature, but not perfectly everything. It has most of the feature, but not all of the features. So I have my reason for sharing this with you, but do not worry, I'm going to clear everything. So if you notice everything displaying right here, these are all TubeBuddy. These are all vidIQ and you notice um, you can actually copy this. You can actually copy all these tags. You can copy them and reuse them. Let me show you guys how to copy. I think I've already made video about it, but actually how to copy it. Just click on this copy and then you go to your video and paste it. But just say you, um, you are having doubts about what I copied. Let me show you guys. Let me open a notepad and paste it in a notepad so that you'll be clear of what I just copied. You see, it's actually, um, it has comma on them, meaning that if you want to reuse this on your video, you can actually reuse them. Just go to your video tag section and then paste them. So this exact video, I'm going to exact or reload this video after I have installed TubeBuddy so that you guys will start seeing the differences from here because there are actually so many things that are quite different. And pay attention that every feature right there, every feature right here is actually on blue. Now, the reason why it's on blue is because it's vidIQ. So I'm going to go ahead and install TubeBuddy. And yes, you can have both TubeBuddy and vidIQ on the same device. So 
um just go over to tubebuddy i already showed you guys how to download this so i'm no longer going to show you how to download it it's still the same way you are not doing anything special you are just going to click on install and then login so let me pause the video while i install it because there is nothing special that i'm doing right here i'm already logged in you can see so let me go ahead and install all right so like you know after you finish installing you need to actually log in so i have installed and i have logged in and this is tubebuddy right here but it's not displaying yet that is because i have i have to refresh my uh, browser or that particular um, link to refresh and to give me more information and then it's going to start displaying let's give it some time to load up all right guys so um you can see this displaying right here this is two body you can see the two body logo so right from that area to this particular section that is two body and then um everything you can notice the highlight uh the seo ranking and everything and um, i actually told you from the start of this video i'm not going to be comparing them this is also the ranking you can see the score right there you can also see the score right All right hope you can see that is 30 and this is actually 49 so um i'm not going to say much in this video just pay attention and you can see everything you can copy here which is also the tag and you can also copy this and you can do the same for this one also you can click on hold on my mouse misbehaves a lot you can click on this copy to and then you select um where you are copying these two so the best place is just copy to clipboard and you can select what you you want to copy so once you've copied them you can go to your video and paste it just the same way you do with this um with the other application and also if you remember when i searched for content creator right let me go ahead and search for it again the same keyword content creators so just hit search and then search for it and it's going to give you the result and you are going to see even more information hold on guys you can see by the left is already loading up all right so this has finished loading and you can notice um this is actually what it gave you changes from a uh, mobile game to content creator which means um there is a particular channel that changed from mother mobile gaming to content creator and this is the search ranking and this is the content creator uh you can see the view and the statistics being shown there all of those and all of these are of it iq then starting from here this is two body so two body is showing you hold on two body is showing you um the seo explorer the keyword and you can click on this area to see the stats because it's not showing you the stats directly and you can compare the stats with the stats that um vidiq is showing you and i think vidiq has add, has added even more stats that is not displaying here and those stats that are not displaying here you need to actually pay for them to actually make use of it on tubebuddy so what this means is that you get even more option that tubebuddy is not giving you for free you get most of them for free on vidiq so if you are starting new make use of both application you can notice the tags displaying right here is quite different from the tags displaying right here and since you are needing all of them you actually need them to make um to make your seo rank properly on the search you can see this is the stack that i was talking about just now so um i'm not going to spend most time here so this is also from vidiq this is also from vidiq and there is no one coming from tubebuddy but when you scroll up you can see where tubebuddy says video detail you can click on this and you get this video detail and also that same thing you can notice vidiq is also here and it can still show you those so um apart from this particular area there is another place which is um our studio you can also go to studio and then while you are trying to edit a particular video there are still so many things that are significantly different in the two application that is actually going to help you a lot and i will guarantee you guys if you are making use of this application in fact this is not a comparison video because it's obviously um with my experience guys i will recommend you to pay close attention to the vid iq tools but if you are making use of the application make sure you make use of both of them they are very important they are very unique with each other uh, from each other but um vid iq has even more advantage 
compared to that. So let's go over to the content section. And while on the content section, um, hold on guys, it's loading up. Yeah, it's thanking me for installing vidIQ. No need to do all of this. I'm going to close that. Alright guys, so this is um, TubeBuddy and this is vidIQ. So vidIQ, we do this, um, is going to recommend um, title for you on your video. Hold on, it can do even more. It's going to recommend description for you on your video. And vidIQ will also help you to um, create a thumbnail. And all these are also for free. And then vidIQ will also give you a better ranking system. Relax guys, there are even more. The most interesting part is that vidIQ is going to easily rate your ranking compared to what you will get from TubeBuddy. But both of them work hand in hand. And also making use of the two of them, you can you can get a tag from vidIQ and then you scroll down and you get even more tag on the TubeBuddy. And I think TubeBuddy will actually give you more tags um, for your video. Uh, which means if it's giving you more tags for your video, it actually means that this particular, um, both of them is actually supposed to work hand in hand. You can't have one alone working uh, without the other. So if you want to um, achieve better results with your SEO, make use of both of them. It's actually going to give you a whole lot of experience. And interesting enough, you are going to get better results. So also when you look at this left hand area, you are still going to see a lot of things that vidIQ can do and also TubeBuddy can do. TubeBuddy is going to display everything right on this left hand area as well as what vidIQ will do. And if you can notice, TubeBuddy does not display this information, but instead vidIQ displays them. So this information is actually very good when you are ranking your videos, TubeBuddy doesn't show that, but vidIQ does show you all those things. But instead, TubeBuddy is going to ask you to make payment before you are going to see that stuff. You notice this upgrade right here. When you upgrade, you will start seeing this particular stat. This stat right here that TubeBuddy is giving, that vidIQ is giving you for free. So making use of both of them is actually very important and very useful for you. But making use of only one is not going to help your channel to grow. So I would advise you to make use of both of them. But if you want to use one for any reason, just go for vidIQ. This is just my conclusion, guys. I am not discriminating any of the application, but I think vidIQ will do better job for you if you decide to choose one of the SEO tool or one of the YouTube tools. So this is all I have for today's video, and I hope it's helpful. If it's helpful, don't forget to smash like and subscribe to the channel for more video. I will see you guys on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.